Hey guys, well today we are going to give you a very short video on Galilee Man. Not much is known of this find but we have added all that we could find. The fossil we will be addressing here is different from the fossil found from the Mano cave. So let us begin. Discovered in 1925, an excavation was carried out in the Mugharat el Zutea, also known as the Cave of the Robbers. This cave is a prehistoric archaeological site in Upper Galilee, Israel. It is situated 800 meters or 2,600 feet from the Nahal Ahmud outlet, approximately 30 meters or 98 feet above the Wadibet, 148 meters or 486 feet below sea level. It was the first paleontological excavation in the region and Torville Petre discovered that the cave housed a skull that is known today as the Galilee Skull or Galilee Man. The skull was the first fossilized archaic human found in Western Asia. Together with the remains found at Eskul and the Wadi El Mukhara caves, this find was classified in 1939 by Arthur Keith and Theodore T. McCown as Paleoanthropus palestinensis. Today, its taxonomy is that of Homo hilbergensis. The skull was also described as Neanderthal-like, but later studies showed that the face was relatively flat with no evidence of Neanderthal-like facial prognathism. The frontal bone and part of the upper face were found in the Mugharan level, which leads to an estimate of the age of the fossil to range from 200,000 to 500,000 years ago. Similarities with Zucodian remains suggest a possible ancestral relationship. The Galilee skull, along with many of Torville Petre's findings, is housed in the Rockefeller Museum in East Jerusalem. A cast of the skull is on display at the Israel Museum. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you know anything more, do let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.